Hi, my name is Aldo Pedraza. I'm one of the lead operators here at the Pico Water Treatment Plant. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, the entire plant, the processes of how we treat the water, how we bring it into the plant, uh, exactly how we treat it, and then how we distribute it out to the city to feed you guys. So, let's go ahead and come on, follow me. So this is the Rio Grande. Uh, this is our this is our raw water source. So right here, it is completely untreated, and where we're standing at is actually the intake. So everything here are what's called the gates. This is uh, the gates are, are meant to prevent any big debris from coming into the plant, and the water travels out from here all the way up to our raw water pump station. Now, on average, we do pump out anywhere between nine to fifteen uh, MGDs per day, which MGD stands for million gallons per day. are our traveling screens. You know, our traveling screens, the purpose of them is to be able to catch any any debris that does get into the gates. You know, these are the raw water pumps. You know, we have pump one, pump two, pump three, and each one of these pumps are rated to treat up to 15 MGDs, which again stands for million gallons per day. Uh, now it does get to the 60th line. And as well, all the recycled water that's coming from the uh, traveling streets and all the recycled water that comes in from the plant itself does come back into the water as well. So we do take uh, account of that as well, so we know how much raw water, recycled water we're treating as well as how much raw water we're treating. At the beginning of here, you did see a pipe coming out of the ground. Now on that pipe, it's that same 60 inch line where the raw water pump station is at. Uh, from raw, where the raw water pump station is, it's pushing that water through that line. And back at the beginning, over we'll here, where the uh, rapid mix is. Now at the rapid mix, that's where it's getting fed with the, uh, our disinfectant, our main disinfectant, which is uh, the CO2, which is a free chlorine. It's getting fed with our coagulants, which are aluminum sulfate, and uh, as well as polymer. So what starts happening on the next stage, right here where we're standing, is the flux. And in this stage, that, but those, that polymer and that alum start combining the dirt and start magnetizing it to each other. So you get these little particles called flock, flocculation, that's the name of the process. So the, the, the objective is to be able to start creating a bigger and bigger flock, to, uh, an adequate size, to be able to weigh it down in the settling basins, which are called the clarifiers. I'll show you that right now. So this channel right here is basically our settled water. What it is, is if, if you're, theoretically if we're running both sides, then this is a collection of collected sample from both, from both sides of the clarifier. But since we only run one at a time for the moment, uh, this is just a collected sample of all three clarifiers in that train from beginning all the way through the end over the weirs. And right here is where we collect our sample. So this water right here that's already settled. Gets, uh, gets fed into the filters, which are on this side right here. We have 10 filters that gets divided to uh, even and we filter all the water through. So we're probably about to scour it, which means that we have a big blower, a big like, consider it like a liquid like fan. And it's throwing all this high pressure air into the filter from the bottom up and it's mixing up all the dirt, and I mean, all the sand, all the anthracite, to be able to release all these clump particles of flock, and dirt, any kind of little debris, and stuff like that get trapped up inside of it, all the air that gets trapped. And we scour it for anywhere between three to six minutes, depending on the operator, everybody has a preference, as well as each filter has its own little And then while it's backwashing, or while it's scouring, we do bring in fresh water from the same collective water, which is the IPS. Uh, to be able to go ahead and start bringing it up. And what it's doing is that as the water is pushing through and it's scouring, all that collected cloud, cloud of just dirt, rock, it's being pushed up over the medium and out of the tank. So once the bed's completely expanded, that's when we start doing that. And um, once we get all the water out, then we bring in more water, which is a hydro, we start going over the drops and into the, the drain. Now from here, what it does, they get sent to the EQ basin. And from there, we can either push it out to the sludge thinner or the liquid tank.
here's the lab, and this is where the guys come to test their samples every two hours. Now, they grab samples from everywhere within the plant, starting from the raw all the way to the rapid mix, the flocks, the settling basins, the clarifiers, uh, the settled water, as well as sometimes the filters, and our clear wool, our finished product that we're actually distributing out to you guys. So now let me go to show you real quick how it is that they sample and what they sample for. So this is the DR6000. Now on the DR6000, what we use this for is to test for free chlorine as well as total chlorine. So this is testing for residual. Now um, right here, this is the pH meter. So we go ahead and use this to test pH. Uh, right now he's actually testing for alkalinity. Alkalinity actually stands for um, the amount of an, uh, the amount allowed to break down an aqueous solution.